for protecting us throughout this week, Lord, keeping us from her harm and danger, Lord. And help me give you the word that you gave me in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. First, I'm going to give honor to God, who is the head of my life. The house has already been addressed, but let's give it up for our bishop. Bishop Taylor. I bring you greetings from the Kingdom of God Ministries, where my pastor is Pastor Mike and Lady Andrea Tunsil. I won't be before you long, but I just want to give you what God gave me. My scripture today that I would like to take my text from is Romans 12 and 2, and I'll be reading from the King James Version. And be not conformed to this world, but ye be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, if you don't mind, I would also read this from the New Living Translation. And it reads, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. My topic for today is it's transformation time. I will not perform the privilege. We live in a society today that wants us to conform in all its ways. But as believers, we are called to stand out from society. And for us as children, it can be extremely hard to stand out. When Paul wrote the book of Romans, he wrote to the Christians in Rome because he realized that the city of Rome was an evil and sin-filled city. And even the Christians were doing wrong. To me, in Romans 12, verse 2, Paul told the Christians who lived in Rome, don't let peer pressure get the best of you. This scripture is hard to live by because it's hard for us to separate ourselves from the world sometimes. We have this problem because everything we see and hear from the internet and even in our daily lives is just so evil. But because it's done, so much, so much of it seems normal to us. When you go anywhere and listen to the radio, all you hear is negativity. When you watch TV or watch movies, all you hear is negativity. When you walk, when you, even when you go out in your daily life, all you see is negativity. This was a common problem for the Romans 2,000 years ago, and it's still a problem today. But today I'm going to give you all the three essentials to meeting peer pressure. Come on, help us out. The first essential to being transformed is that you need to receive salvation. This is the this is the ultimate transformation, but being saved isn't enough. It's just a start. You have to build a relationship with God. Luke 10 and 27 says, Love the Lord. Come on. have love for God, we must spend time with him through prayer, reading the Bible, practicing obedience, and having faith in him. The second essential needed to transform your mind to fight peer pressure is the ability to guard your spirit. As humans, we explore the world with our five senses, and it's very important to guard our senses because anything can put you in a certain mood. When people listen to music, they can feel happy or angry or even sad. And when you watch movies, you can feel any type of way just from what you're watching. And this really, I had a problem with this when I was younger, especially when I was in middle school, because I used to always try to fit in with everybody else. And um, I would always be disrespectful to my teachers because everybody else that I hung around was. And every, all the music that I listened to promoted it. So even though I didn't know I was, I was being influenced by all of these things. And I didn't start changing until I changed what I listened to, who I hung around, and even the people you surround yourself with can be bad. And no matter what, and no matter what or who they are, you must use your judgment and guard yourself accordingly. Proverbs 4 through 23 says, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows through it. And to me, this scripture sums up guarding your heart because it says everything flows through it. Meaning that if you Whatever you take into yourself comes back out. The third essential needed to transform your mind and fight peer pressure is you have to feed your spirit. Guarding your spirit is great, but we also have to make sure we feed our spirit as well. We are born into sin, and we are exposed to sin 24-7. But when we feed our spirit, it cleanses our thoughts, and our thoughts control our actions. You can feed your spirit by reading the Word of God through devotionals, listening and watching godly things, 
and being involved in church. It's important to stay around the fire and the saints and surround yourself around positive people. So remember, build your relationship with God. Guard your heart and feed your spirit. This will help you not to conform to this evil world, but to stand out and do God's will. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's transformation time.